Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. Now a look at the headlines. <music> Governor tells government to have state action plan to preserve environment, suggests task force to conserve Goa's coastline. Churchill Alema refuses to terminate the contract of Wilbur Smith, alleges that Sunil Desai is preparing for election by keeping the highway issue alive. Petitioner against SEZ calls for CBI probe in land allotment for the SEZ, demands FIR against the then CM Pratap Singh Rani. Madgaon police successfully nabbed two gangs of thieves. Thieves confessed thefts at different places in the city. And Goa will dominate national baseball circuit for next 10 years, says Chief Baseball Coach Dilip Naik. Baseball Association President Angle announces cash reward. And now the news in detail. Governor Dr. S. S. Sidhu has told state government to formulate state action plan to protect Goa's environment. He also suggested a task force to conserve Goa's coastline. Governor also raised issues like climate change, rise in water level, sale of decomposed fish and solid waste management. A meeting of 18th Goa Environment Protection Council was held on Thursday. Chief Minister Digamar Kamat, Environment Minister Alex Sequeira, Chief Secretary Sanjay Srivastava, Transport Secretary Dr. Modasir, along with Governor S.S. Sidhu were present for the meeting. Dr. Sidhu stressed on the need for environment protection. For this, he suggested the need of formulating state action plan. The Governor stated that while considering development of the state, all stakeholders should be taken into confidence in matters pertaining to climate change, rainwater harvesting and coastal protection. Governor suggested the following. Need to solve the problem of River Princess as ship is causing damage to Kandoli Beach. Task force to tackle Goa's problem of coastal protection measures. Rising waters along coastline. Need for rainwater harvesting. Rotten fish sale to consumers. And solid waste management. Chief Minister and Chief Secretary reply to the various queries raised by the Governor. CM is confident of tackling all issues before they go out of hand. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Churchill Alimau has refused to remove Wilbur Smith as the consultant for the highway project. Alimau has alleged that convener of the committee, Sunil Dasai, wants to contest elections by wrecking up the highway issue. According to Alemao, Section 3D has been notified and by this month end, plans of NH17 will be ready. Churchill Alemao has taken a tough stand against National Highway Diversion Action Committee. He is in no mood to meet any demands of the committee. Couple of days back, committee had demanded removal of consultant Wilbur Smith for the highway project and had alleged that Section 3D was not notified. Anti-highway activists had cited discrepancies in the Wilbur Smith report demanding their ouster. House committee decided that the opposition leader Mela Sogla and Mela Sogla and meeting given say pass kela clear. Now, sir, take a look. Wilbur Smith, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. We not we are not interesting. Take a look. 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 Plans for NH4A were out one month back by this month and plans for NH17 are expected to be completed. But Churchill Alemau has clearly targeted members of National Highway Diversion Action Committee. He has termed Sunil Desai as the next aspiring politician and has added that in Porvari only Fatima Desai's house will be exed for highway widening. Sunil Desai, the uh, house committee, so he is a, not a member, he is a nobody. Okay? So Sunil Desai, if you want to apply to politics, 
तो आता हाईवे जी पॉलिश कर इलेक्शन बस सोता तो इलेक्शन जिंकता उटीजरीडली He has demanded CBI probe into the full procedure. He has also demanded the FIR against then CM Pratap Singh Rane and others allegedly involved in it. Advocate F. A. Narona and John Philip Pereira held a press briefing on Thursday in the capital city. They highlighted that 287th GIDC meeting discussing SEZ issue was held without a quorum. They have demanded a CBI inquiry against the land allotment procedure. The decision to allot land to four SEZs was held on 19th of April 2006 in GIDC 287 board meeting without proper quorum while which had to be five members but only four members were present applicants are written in hand there is no stamp of the company the name of the company is written in hand the president government functionaries should immediately resign on moral grounds namely the present speaker mr pratap singh rane the power minister mr alesh sikwera the idc chairman mr babu kaulekar ex director and ex directors and a cbi uh, investigation should be conducted and an fir file on the above persons parera further highlighted that the lease rent was brought down to half percent from 2% for the land allotted to SCZ the allotment was done without the di- uh, directions under section 16 of goa idc act by only support of the chief minister pratap singh rane then uh, chief minister pratap singh rane and then the industry minister luisin falero which was totally illegal the board also decided not to levy transfer fees sublease assignment charges and reduced the lease rent from 2% to half percent he also cited following observation from the cag report cag report points out no perspectives plan for development of industrial infrastructure in the state deviated mandated role by acquiring and allotting land to developer companies rather than industrial units irregular allotments of land at verna phase 4 to scz Loss of rupees thirty six point eight nine crore as plots at Verna Phase Four allotted at tentative rates. Loss of rupees thirty nine point forty seven crore as corporation executed lease deeds with four SCZ allotees for more area than approved by the board. A reporter from Panji Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Ravindra Darvi. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back.